everybody. My name is Michael Fox, and my wife is shaking my camera because I really, I'm in a really I'm in an awkward, <laughs> awkward spot because so this is a, an unboxing video of the Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood ridiculously overpriced collector's edition. Uh, I would like to say it's the best two hundred dollars I've ever spent, but that would probably be a lie. Uh, however, I am still very excited that I, I finally got it. I came today. I came today and just, just bring on the box. Uh, like I've bought and I've literally got all the other collector's editions, even like the 1.0 collector's edition, so I had to buy this one. Because I'm OCD, maybe. I really hope Square Enix in the next expansion does not make it like $200 because the last one was like 150 or maybe 170 or something which is kind of averagey price for collector's editions. This one came with a giant thing. A what? A thing. Yeah, collector's editions usually come with things. There was only like, I remember in the past is like the history of collector's editions in video games. There was like a Call of Duty that was like crazy expensive because it came with like fucking night vision <laughs> goggles or some shit. Which was like really ridiculous. I'm gonna do my best to not look at my screen and look at my camera and not be a narcissistic idiot. But let's open up this Actors Edition box. Oh fuck, cut myself. Okay, it's got uh, a cardboard hat that it came with. I'm just kidding. That art is the artery is art. Bleh, I can't talk. The art, artwork is really freaking gorgeous, actually. Have you guys, that's yeah, you guys can mostly see that. I think I think the camera is a little bit crooked. That's okay. Whatever, we'll deal with it. Uh, it's auto white balancing too, which is not really not what I want. Uh, what else? Roll with it. Roll with it. My life ain't perfect. My video shouldn't be perfect either. You want a what? Oh, here's the back. Of, here's the back of the box as well. Uh, pretty cool. Shows you uh, all the stuff that you get in the collector's edition. Hey, let me get down. All right, I'm gonna leave. <laughs> it's such a stop, Mia. It's so bad. It's so bad. Okay. Get out. Get out, get out. You first open it up, you're treated to this beautiful gold storm blood. Storm blood. Uh, how have you guys uh, been enjoying the storm, like, the expansion, by the way? Like, I've been really loving it quite a bit. Um, Samurai, by far, is probably one of my favorite things. Um, just. In general, like, because I've always been a huge fan of Japanese culture, and I, I'll mention this in a, another Stormblood video, so I'm totally repeating myself here, but um, I've always loved Japanese culture since since I was younger, and, like, all the cool, like, Japanese culture stuff in Stormblood has been just, it's just been just awesome. So there's the, uh, this is the box, that's, this is the gold box inside the box. It's got the Final Fantasy XIV logo there. Uh, it's got the cool, like, Stormblood uh, artwork. This is basically the artwork that you see in the title screen. Uh, this is actually a decently, decently made nice box. I want to be very gentle with it. I think I have to put this down. Sorry. How does it how does it come out? This has all the all the cool all the cool stuff in it. Uh um actual the case art here. The cars kind of fun to see 14 of them to play. There's a cool on the back of that. Join the resistance. Order. I'll set it right there. 
Authenticity is already Aorzian map. I'm gonna wait on that one too. Oh. Really? This is how you package this? I want my I want my two hundred dollars back. That's a sticker. This was a sticker. This was a sticker. Fuck you, Square Enix. First of all. Yeah, it's like well yeah, great. Okay. Uh this is the Stormblood logo sticker that you're supposed to get. Uh, I was gonna keep this in pristine condition and just keep it in the thing, but no anymore, I guess it's fucking trash now. <coughs> it's basically trash. <sighs> Bent to shit. Bent like this video. Uh the Stormblood Art Book. Uh should do it. Yeah, got the art book in my hands. We'll just check it out. It's got like a clip by clip of the uh of the what do you call it the trailer. Cool artwork there for for Red Mage. Cool art for Samurai. Well, it's got a lot of the uh The new, uh, the new armor for some of the classes. There's the bard. The bard looks pretty cool. And the white mage, white mage and black mage. Uh, it's got all the, say, just the crafting classes. Artwork of a lot of the main characters that we're gonna see uh, throughout the game. So probably some spoilers in here. Um, I'll probably just end it on this is like the Susano, Susano O, whatever, uh, however it's pronounced. Uh, the art book's actually the art book's actually a lot bigger than I thought it would be. It's it's about the size of a a normal like book. So this is it next to the actual uh, case of the game. So it's a decent decent size art book, which is actually pretty nice. Uh, I am still really disappointed by this. I know it's just a stupid sticker, but. When you pay over two hundred dollars on something, you expect it to be in kind of a pristine condition, in my opinion. This is kind of cool. I, I honestly wish this was bigger. Like I would love to have a map like this, but actually like a, a full size like world map would be really really cool. Um, but this, this is neat. And then last, but of course not least, is this really cool statue. Uh, it's got the Stormblood logo on the side. Uh, Final Fantasy XIV logo there. Same thing on the top. Uh, it's pretty neat. And then a lot of a lot of info about him on the back, it looks like. Uh, let's open, let's open it up. Bending the box a little bit is okay. Ripping the box is not okay. Mm. It'll probably be better if I pull this down. Show what it looks like when you pull it out of the box. Pretty neat. Uh, let's pull him out. Pull him. He is pretty darn cool. Let me grab the camera. Grab the camera. Yeah. Uh, That's if I can hold still enough here, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, my camera, my crappy camera, does not do this justice at all. Like he is far more colorful, and the detail on him is way cooler than than, than what the camera can show. What are you talking about? That's a spoiler alert, cat.
really pretty cool. I'm, I'm impressed with the color on him. Like, the coloring is just really, really nice. I almost wish I had... That feels really cool. It's like an orange sword. Here's the back of him. That beautiful, long, flowing locks of hair. <laughs> uh, it does come with a... Oh! He is a piece of shit. Straight up, piece of shit. Uh, he does come with a neat little, neat little base. Yeah. Is it worth two hundred dollars? <laughs> Not really. Like, uh, just move your hand, please. You're making it worse. Um, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like they charged two hundred dollars for this because they knew they could. Um, and I'm kind of like, I guess I'm not necessarily disappointed, but I was like, man, this could have been a lot cheaper. It totally could have been a lot cheaper. Um, but still, gosh, what a, just a really cool, really cool figure. Like, I wish, I, I wish the lighting was better so I could show this off better. I think that's going to do it for the unboxing video. Um... Life is difficult when you make videos and you have children. I am going to wrap this up and actually go play some more Final Fantasy 15, 14. I almost said 15. 15 is good too. Go play that. Uh, I'm going to get uh, my Samurai level 60 tonight is what I want to do. Uh, until next time, guys, please be kind to each other. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.